Today I just have a quick video to show a common problem on Fluke and the multimeters, especially the Fluke 12, because this has happened a few times on this. The display goes bad on it. It's really a simple fix. You gotta be careful taking these things apart, but it's an easy one. Here's how to fix it. Here's a quick service uh, video for any of your Fluke meters like this one, the Fluke 12. As you can see, the display is starting to, well, if I tilt it to a different angle, you can read it, but uh, the display is starting to lose some of its contrast. Typically what happens on these is the pressure connection between the processor with the main chip on it and the display. The, um, the pressure connection between the display and the main board starts to deteriorate because it uses these they look like rubber strips but they actually have conductive uh, pins through them, conductive metal and uh, what you sometimes have to do on these is reseat them so this is what you do on any of these meters that this happens on first thing of course turn your meter off and remove the case in the case of this one just need a Phillips screwdriver Beckman meters were very common with this type of a failure although on the Beckman it was usually a result of, of plastic fatigue that broke but on the uh, flukes this is all you need to do to fix this so I'm just going to release the board from the, the chassis itself it's held in place with these little plastic clips so if we just pop the little clips open you have to be careful not to break them but just pop the little clips open and the board will lift out Okay, and this is the connector I'm talking about here on this one. There are two of them. One that interfaces the switch to the board and the other one that interfaces the display to the board. And what happens is you get uh, connection failures here. So we want to try and clean these connections up. Now, I don't recommend putting anything on these rubber strips that could cause a problem. Uh, I've never put contact cleaner or anything on them because I'm always afraid that contact cleaner might attack these because they are they are just rubber strips that are sandwiched between or, or metal um, like a carbon type connection that's uh, sandwiched between two rubber strips so I typically just take them and wipe them off just to remove any debris And I'll turn it over so that I can get the other side as well. So they just they just lift out. Actually, I'm not even going to take that one out. It seems to be stuck down pretty good. So just wipe it off. And we're going to do the same for the contacts here. Just wipe off the contacts to take off any oxidation. Again, without applying any type of cleaners and the same for this one and then we'll just put the unit back together and press all the the, uh, the tabs into place just press it down until it snaps in and of course make sure your switch is lined up in the front here so it's in the off position because that's where I left it because that one lines up with this mechanical switch here at the front and then just and that's generally all there is to it so we just put the unit back together 
and all the display segments laid up correct. That's how you can fix one of these Fluke 12 and many other Fluke meters that uh, have the erratic display failure. This has happened before on this meter. It's typically something I have to do every couple of years. So keep that in mind if you've got a display problem with your Fluke and I, I'm sure this applies to other brands of meters too. And I know it applies to Beckman. I have an old Beckman meter but the problem with my Beckman meter is the, it uses the pla it actually uses the plastic clip to sandwich the the processor with the IC on it, the processor board and the display are sandwiched together with a clip and what happened on those is the plastic clip itself deteriorated over the years and the clip broke so something like that would lend itself to being 3D printed I'm sure I can't I don't have a 3D printer so I can't fix my old Beckman meter I've got it kicking around here somewhere but uh, that was what goes wrong on those on these ones the big problem that these Fluke 12s have and other Flukes that are along the same uh, build as this one is the, the display connection between the main display and the board goes bad and then it makes the display hard to read as you can see now it's again perfect thanks for watching we'll catch you again real soon the next video I'm going to do which I'm going to do probably as soon as I well, I was going to do it now and I had to get my meter working but I have another neat little radio here that I picked up this one up at the second hand store for two dollars it's a York's AM FM FM stereo I already have one of these you guys have probably seen the video of it where the display was dead and I changed it to another display that I just found and <clears throat> had to rewire it to make it work. On this one, the display works great. I'll still show you. The display is nice and bright. On this one, there's the dim setting, there's the bright setting. I'm going to probably put a, a diffuser, a color diffuser in here to make it turn blue. But um, I think the plans I've got for this radio, although I don't need to because it's not all, it's not super, super bright. So this display looks like it's starting to maybe fade a bit. I mean, they're, they're getting pretty old, but it's still, still relatively bright. But what I plan to do on this radio is I'm going to put a Bluetooth board into it. Have it switched in on one of the positions here on the switch. Maybe FM mono. I'll make the FM mono a Bluetooth input. That'll be a project for this. That's coming up. We'll catch you real soon.